Volatile organic compounds, or VOCs, are a group of chemicals that vaporize easily and cause harm to human health and the environment. VOCs are commonly found in many products used in the auto repair sector, such as petroleum-based cleaning solvents and degreasers, including aerosols, and in automotive oils, hydraulic fluids, and fuels. At auto body shops, VOCs are present in these products, cleaning solvents, solvent-borne paints and top coats, paint thinners, and chemical paint strippers. Vehicle exhaust is also a major source of VOCs. Short-term exposure to high levels of VOCs can cause breathing and other problems, such as irritation of the eyes, nose, and throat, headaches, and nausea. Exposure to VOCs over time can cause various health effects, dizziness, and damage to the liver, kidneys, and nervous system. Some VOCs, such as benzene and methylene chloride, are connected to cancer. Aerosol sprays containing VOCs, like brake and carburetor cleaners, release a very fine mist, which is inhaled deeper into the lungs compared to breathing fumes in the air. And as for environmental harm, VOCs react with sunlight and nitrogen oxides to form ozone, a harmful air pollutant that can damage the lungs and the environment. Ozone is also a major component of smog. Smog can increase the acidity of rainwater, creating acid rain and harming aquatic life and ecosystems. Smog can also reduce sunlight, affecting photosynthesis of plants and algae. Some of the most common ingredients or types of ingredients that contain high VOCs are petroleum-based products, aromatic hydrocarbons, such as benzene or benzene compounds, toluene and xylene, chlorinated or brominated solvents, such as carbon tetrachloride, perchloroethylene, trichloroethylene, and n-propyl bromide, and alcohols such as methanol and ethanol. Follow these best management practices to minimize VOCs in your workspace and beyond the walls of your shop. Improving work practices and finding non-VOC or lower VOC options can result in fewer emissions and reduce costs, and protect employee and public health and our local waterways. Here are a few best management practices relating to VOCs and vehicle exhaust. Implement a no idling policy for customers. Ensure good ventilation whenever a vehicle needs to idle during service. Promote and incentivize public transit and alternate commute options for staff and customers. Now, here are several best management practices applicable to both auto body and auto repair. After this, we'll discuss some BMPs that are specific to each. Aqueous cleaners may replace many uses of solvents. If solvents are needed, purchase those with low VOC content, such as 50 state compliant or South Coast air quality compliant. Look at your solvent, paint thinners, paints, and other product labels and safety data sheets, or SDS, to determine VOC concentration and to look for specific ingredients to avoid. For solvents and paint thinners in particular, a VOC concentration of 10% or less is best. The VOC level can be found in Section 9 of the SDS, and purchasing 50 state compliant or South Coast certified products we ensure that they are under this threshold. Also, avoid any solvents or paint thinner products that contain chlorinated chemicals or benzenes, methanol, toluene, or xylenes. For paint strippers, avoid these chemicals and also a nasty chemical called N-methyl pyrolidone, which is common in paint strippers. To identify whether your products contain ingredients of concern that we just mentioned, look at Section 3 of the SDS. Chlorinated chemicals are any that have the five letters C-H-L-O-R in the name. Ecobiz staff can also help you with this. Always comply with product labels and SDS instructions for personal protective equipment. When any product or parts washer is not in use, always close the lid and ensure a tight seal to contain emissions and avoid evaporation. This includes VOC-containing products, spent solvent and other hazardous waste receptacles, solvent-based parts washers, spent rag collection receptacles, 
and even garbage cans with contaminated disposable rags. Increased ventilation when using products that emit VOCs or any type of stinky vapors. Maintain HVAC systems and filters to capture as much VOC emissions as possible. And install a smart air quality monitor that can alert you if VOC levels cross certain thresholds. Here are a few additional tips specific to auto repair shops. First, consider bio-based and or aqueous cleaning products and systems instead of solvent cleaning. One of the best alternatives are bio-based systems that use microbes to break down the oils. The advantage of this type of system is there is no hazardous waste or wastewater to dispose of, compared to solvent parts washing or even aqueous where the wastewater must be treated or disposed of as hazardous waste. Spray aerosols into a rag or very close to the part to minimize breathable airborne spray. Another alternative is a solvent plunger and rags. Here are some additional suggestions to reduce VOCs in auto body shops. Convert to waterborne paints, primers, and surfacers. Many shops have converted and with excellent quality and a reduction in hazardous waste and VOCs. Waterborne paints contain only about 10% solvent, with the remaining content being solids and water. Compare this to solvent-based paints, which may be around 80% VOCs. Waterborne paints also minimize the need for higher VOC cleaning solvents for equipment. Choose high solid, low VOC top coats that require fewer than three coats to achieve adequate coverage, such as polyurethane or urethane. Many zinc phosphate primers have very high VOC content, and they have lower VOC alternatives. For either waterborne or solvent painting, train spray technicians in efficient spray application techniques to minimize VOC emissions by using the minimum volume of paints, primers, and sealers. Employ high transfer spray equipment, such as electrostatic or HVLP. Paint with a full PPE suit with eye and respiratory protection. Use a manometer to measure the air pressure in front of and behind the paint booth exhaust filters to determine when filters require change to be most effective for VOC removal. Reducing VOCs at the source by using best management practices and finding lower VOC alternatives is important for improving air quality in auto shops, in the outdoors surrounding the shops, and reducing exposure to your staff, those in the community, and even the families of staff who bring VOCs home on their clothes and shoes. Remember, VOCs harm human health and the environment. Do your part to protect our community and our waterways.